and welcome back to my channel this video is a bit different because I'm not actually painting a character this time today we are going to be negative and what I mean by that isn't about the mood even though I recorded this video when I wasn't feeling that great it's about painting and to be more precise we are going to be painting leaves using the negative space technique You can treat this video as some sort of a tutorial if you want to because I will be trying to explain how I do the negative space magic as I go. Painting leaves is one of the most relaxing things for me when I don't know what to draw or when I'm overwhelmed by the amount of ideas I have. Instead of doing absolutely nothing, I prefer to just paint leaves, <laughs> mindlessly. It's a technique that requires a lot of patience, but I'm known for my never-ending supplies of it, so <laughs> that's probably why it's so relaxing for me. But yeah, if you decide to follow along, make sure you're able to deal with having to wait for each layer to dry, unless you might ruin your painting. So, first thing I do is separating the page I'm gonna paint on in two sections with washi tape. Of course, that's not necessary, but this technique is pretty time consuming, so I would rather paint two small paintings on one page than one big one. Besides, you can always work on the other painting while the first one is drying to avoid ruining it, so I highly recommend it. The first layer is supposed to be the lightest one. You can make it as smooth or as textured as you want it to be because that is what is going to show up on your lightest sleeves. After the first layer is completely dry, it's negative time. <laughs> I begin to paint leaves, but as you can see, after I draw the lines of the leaf, I don't color it in. I actually paint around it. And that's it. End of the tutorial. <laughs> Okay, okay, I was joking. Don't leave just yet, please. <laughs> See what I did there? I'm so sorry. But yeah, that's basically all I do. I paint around the leaf so it's darker around the shape. And after it's dry, I add more leaves behind, slowly filling the whole page and making it as deep as I can. I like to switch between two colors, but you can use as many or as few as you want to. I learned this technique from some tutorial that YouTube recommended to me like years ago and it's been my favorite thing to do besides drawing characters and all that stuff ever since. You can use it to paint other shapes too, but I just like leaves, what can I say? <laughs> One day I would like to try and make a huge painting in this style and maybe even gift it to my grandma. <laughs> She's been asking me for a painting for ages, and I feel so bad for making her wait for so long. Maybe I could even film making it. What do you think?
here is some satisfying washi tape peeling clip that you may enjoy. <laughs> I love watching these for some reason. So I hope you do too. And here is my finished painting. <laughs> look how negative it is, just to look at it. <laughs> but wait, there's more! <laughs> Didn't expect that, did you? Well, let me tell you, it was a negative day, so I had to paint more. <laughs> Honestly, I wasn't really satisfied with the first page, so I decided to do more leaves, but this time I changed the composition a bit. I think those would make beautiful bookmarks. <laughs> I used two colors for both of these paintings. It was turquoise and magenta, and I kept switching between them. So the first one is a bit warmer than the other, because I didn't want them to be exactly the same, so... The day I was painting these wasn't the greatest for me. <laughs> I woke up feeling overwhelmed and unmotivated in general. And then I thought to myself, you know, that's enough. <laughs> you gotta do something. You can't lay in bed all day. It wasn't easy, but I got up and being as stubborn as I am, I forced myself to change my attitude and I don't regret it. Instead of being negative in life, I decided to be negative on paper. <laughs> Pretty awesome, isn't it? Thanks to my mood that day, you have a new video to watch and maybe learn something from. So I hope you like this technique and if you ever try it, please show me your results. I would love to see what you do. Also, I'm not that great at explaining things, so if you have any questions that I didn't answer in the video, just comment down below and I'll, I'll be happy to answer them. And one more thing, I know it may seem intimidating at first, and of course that's your personal choice of how you're going to execute your painting in this technique, but I recommend adding as many layers as possible. The more you add, the deeper the painting becomes and it's more interesting to look at, at least in my opinion. Of 
course it's not the rule and if you want it simple and pastelline and all that stuff that's okay too art is amazing for its diversity we all see things differently and that's what makes us all unique <laughs> so i'm pretty excited to see what you do with this technique if you use it i'm really excited to see That's it! <laughs> Another page in my sketchbook field. I really hope you liked my video and if you did, you know, I hate saying that but um, uh, just press that like button down below if you want to, of course. <laughs> and now let me leave because that's just embarrassing. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, take care of yourselves, bye bye!